Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Now, here's your host, Timothy Carter. Thanks for joining me on the podcast today. We're going to talk about how to use podcasts for SEO and link building in 2020. So, you know, podcasting is important. It's having its moment. More than half of all Americans over the age 12 have listened to podcasts in the past, and 32% of Americans listen to podcasts at least once a month. In addition, there are more than 750,000 active podcasts right now, including this one, with a collective 29 million episodes to listen to in more than 100 languages. It's a landscape ripe with opportunities for savvy marketers. There are many good reasons to start a podcast, including entertainment, education, pure personal interest. But I think we'll talk about you know looking at the utility of podcasts for an SEO strategy and, and link building by extension. With the, with the right strategy, you can use podcasting as a way, you know, to, to build your, to expand your link building and improve your search rankings as a result while simultaneously generating more search traffic to the podcast itself. So let's take a, a brief dive and explore how to use podcasts for SEO and link building in 2020. First, you know, we obviously need to address the symbiotic relationship between podcasts and SEO, since it's definitely a, a two-way street. If you aren't familiar, obviously podcasts are what you're listening to, audio content, and usually episodic in nature, distributed for free via highly accessible podcast networks out there. You can make a podcast really about anything. You know, there, there are comedy podcasts, informative podcasts, reviews, interview podcasts, and even serialized fiction like radio plays. But for our purposes, we're going to focus on the informative and or entertaining podcasts since these are are the most likely to generate traffic for a business. If syndicated properly, you know, podcasts can improve your brand reputation and visibility and provide new opportunities to earn and generate links that boost your SEO strategy. In the opposite direction, organic traffic from your SEO strategy can bring more traffic and more listeners to your podcast. This is especially powerful if you're monetizing your pod- your podcast you know, as a separate stream of revenue. Eventually, you'll have a self-sustaining feedback loop, a content engine that consistently yields more results. So let's start by touching on uh, the SEO benefits of podcasting. Merely producing podcast episodes and distributing them to an audience isn't going to increase your domain authority or improve your SEO, but there are some distinct advantages and opportunities afforded to you through the art of podcasting. And that's what we're going to wrap up this podcast about. You know, first, you know, it's the relative ease of podcasting. You know, one of the reasons it's become so popular is it's, it's easy for newcomers. The audio format and the ease of publication means you won't have to invest much time or money to get started. Yet the potential audience you can build with a podcast is practically unlimited in size. Compared to the other link building strategies that are out there, this can be incredibly affordable, you know, meaning it can actively increase your ROI. Uh, Number two would be like syndication. If you use sites like Libsyn or Podbean, your podcast episodes can, at your request, be syndicated across the myriad of other high-authority websites. And more importantly, many of the syndicated uh, links are do-follows, which means you know the links provide some SEO value. Uh, three, personal brand development and guest posting opportunities. Podcasts are typically hosted by one or two people who serve as the charismatic leads for the show. <laughs> uh, if you're trying to... F- fit your podcasting strategy with your SEO campaign, it's ideal to have your primary guest authors as your podcast host. Remember, the best way to build links for SEO is through guest posting. And guest posting, you know, at its most effectiveness is when you have a strong personal brand author new works for high-profile publishers. 
If you can build up that perceived authority and reputation of your guest authors through podcasting, you'll gain access to much more lucrative publication opportunities. Number four, relationship building and content collaboration. You know, podcasting is also a fantastic gateway for relationship building and collaborative content development. By networking with other podcasters, conducting interviews, and and guest hosting on other podcasts, you'll expand your network of content collaborators and partners. As a side effect, you'll end up trading links with a wider range of industry authorities, and you'll open the door to more co-author and co-publication deals. Next would be linkable assets. Think of your podcast episodes as high-quality articles or white papers. They can serve as high-quality linkable assets on your own site as well. I mean, if you have an amazing interview or if you discuss some original research or unique thoughts on a podcast episode, you can cite it in your off-site content linking back to your site. And then, you know, podcasting obviously as a, as a social media channel. You, it's an, it is, basically, it's an alternative. You get to talk. Or you might syndicate and popularize your best content through channels like Facebook and Twitter. And you can talk about your best content on a podcast, increasing its visibility and capacity to earn links. And then finally, as we wrap up this overview, you know, medium transformation potential. You know, podcasting is also unique because of its ability to serve, you know, as multiple mediums simultaneously. Uh, for example, let's say you interview people on your podcast. You can film the interaction between your host and your guest, then release it simultaneously as a YouTube video, a podcast episode on various networks, and a written transcript on your blog. This way, you're creating video, audio, and you know, quality content all at once. Now you're starting to see why it's so popular. And you know, I'll probably I think I'll wrap it up here on this intro for you know podcasting for SEO. In my next one, we'll talk about you know podcasting fundamentals and SEO and dive a little deeper. So I I appreciate your time. If you want to improve your site's organic visibility, you know, come on over to SEO.co and schedule a time to have a free consultation. Learn how we can help you scale your ability to outright and outrank your competition. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.